Current Issues. I'm your host, Hisham Tilawi. Well, how much of what you see on television do you believe? How true it is? Do you believe Fox Network more than you believe CNN? Or is it ABC or CBS? Or is it MNSB, uh, whatever the heck that other channel is, MSNBC? What you see on television, ladies and gentlemen, is usually agenda-driven. Somebody behind it, someone wants to put a, an idea in your head, wants you to believe in something that a lot of time is not even there. Case in point, ladies and gentlemen, the Fox Network, the Fair and Balanced, they had shown on their website a story about a Muslim in New York who supposedly had some anti-Semitic writings on his website. The guy's name is Yusuf Al-Khattab, and we do have a screen print, actually, of the Fox Network story where they showed a guy in full military fatigue, it looks like Al-Qaeda military fatigue. The guy is a bearded guy with a bunch of guns. Now we do have a picture of him where you will see the way he is dressed up. It's very convincing. When you look at this, you would think, whoa this Muslims who is based in New York that looks like that Al-Qaeda is already in America when you see that you would think yeah it's believable oh my god they are on the streets of America now who wants to put that idea in your head well it's the same people who brought you Adam Gadan we also have a picture of Adam Gadan, who also supposedly is the Muslim Al-Qaeda, the guy you have seen on your television screens many, many times since 2001. He's an American who converted to Islam. The same thing as the other guy, Yusuf Al-Khattab, he is also an American who converted to Islam and both of these happen to be Jews Adam Gadan he is Daniel Pearl that's his name and Yusuf Al Khattab his name is Joseph Cohen they both converted supposedly to Islam and now you would think that Fox Network would go and expose a guy that looks like that, the first guy loaded up with guns, saying that this is a Muslim on the streets of New York, looking like that. What is the story here? Who is trying to smear Islam and Muslims in the United States? What does it take to be a Muslim? Is there like an indoctrination course that you would have to go into to become a Muslim? You have to study some textbooks or you have to... No, it does not take all that. There is no indoctrination period in Islam. All you have to do is say one thing and you become a Muslim, which is to testify that there is no God but God and Muhammad is his messenger, period. It's that simple, and you become a Muslim, which many, many Americans have become Muslims that way. They studied Islam, they looked at Islam, and they thought, well, this is a religion that we can actually live with. But when you see images like that, ladies and gentlemen, that is not an image that you want to be associated with. Well, that's why I'm telling you, how much would you believe or how much should you believe 
of what supposedly mainstream media outlets bring you. Well, the latest story is the story of a book that came out. It is called The Muslim Mafia. It just came out. Yesterday, four congressmen, they had a press conference. And in the press conference, they accused one of the largest Muslim organizations in the United States, the Council on American Islamic Relations. For short, it is known as CARE in the media. Now, supposedly, the guy who wrote the book, the way they made it look like as if Sherlock Holmes was there and this guy had a really, he really had to squeeze some bolts and nuts to get into the organization of care and infiltrate, that's the way they are talking about it, that this guy has infiltrated care and came out to write a book about it. As if his conversion to Islam, of course, he did not convert. But you see, one thing about Islam, you do not doubt the intentions of people converting. If somebody tells you he's a Muslim, that's it. It is not your responsibility or your business to say that, oh, this guy is lying. If he said, if he testified, that God is the only God that he believes in, there's no God but God, and Muhammad is his messenger, that's it, you're Muslim. And you are a brother. You are welcomed with open arms throughout the whole society. You see, Muslims and Islam does not have the hierarchy like, you know, the first order or the 32nd order, etc., etc. There is really none of that. All Muslims are equal. So this young guy goes in, he changes his name, and he wants to, he told care that he is a Muslim and he wants to work on Muslim issues. And they, with open arms, they welcomed him into the organization. Well, supposedly this guy was in there as a spy. He wants to see what those people are doing. And he came out to write a book. We have a cover uh, uh, of, uh, a, c a cover shot of that book. Let's put that on the screen so people can see it. Muslim Mafia, oh my goodness, by David Gobatz. Now, if you see this thing, let's assume this was not Muslim Mafia. If somebody wrote a book that says Jewish Mafia or Catholic Mafia, I guarantee you those congressmen will not put their names behind it. They will not hold a press conference to say that CARE is planting spies into our congressional offices. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if most of you don't know it, a lot of our congressmen and senators and presidents, they started out as staffers in these congressional offices. Many people start out like that. Many cabinet members start out like that. And care, just like any other Muslim or like any other American organization, they try to have interns placed in different congressional offices just to be a staffer. There are over 10 million Muslims in the country. Well, CARE now is accused of planting spies. Well, tonight we are honored to have with us Ibrahim Hooper of the American, of the Council on American Islamic Relations. He's going to, he's a spokesman for CARE and he's going to shed some lights on exactly what happened. What is CARE doing? Ibrahim, welcome to the program. Is Ibrahim with us? Yes. Hello? Yes, yes, I can hear you. Uh, welcome to the program, Ibrahim. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I should apologize ahead of time because I actually had to work late because of this issue, and I'm now driving home, and uh, we may hit a dead spot, and you may have to call me back. So, no no problem. Bad, that, 